All right, everyone. I'm making this video for one of my great supporters, Crypto Badger. This is Bancor. You know, I was uh, attempting to use Bancor last night, but this video is going to show you guys, you know, how to use it. It's very simple, similar to Ether Delta. Actually, <laughs> you know, easier. But there are a lot less coins on the Bancor Poly Network. But let's go ahead and check it out. So, you know, you want to go to Bancor. Dot com or you just google it and it'll take you to the website make sure you're on the right website secure now you'll see that i have my metamask connected i'm logged in to my metamask already and just wanted to attempt to purchase like just ten dollars worth of kin the kin coin because i actually wanted it during the ico but it actually dropped dropped in price log in just like you do with ether delta to your metamask make sure you're already logged in go to your bank core now as you can see I have $19.67. You can purchase. These are the different coins that you can purchase on Bancor. Storm is a popular one. Engine. Engine, you know, seems to be a good one. You have your Dragon Chain there and other ones. You have your Gnosis. You can get your Wax wax Token and the Kin Token. But that's what I want to purchase. But this is all that you can buy here. Now, you don't need to sign in, as you can see. Converting tokens does not require signing in. Only if you want to join the bounty programs or engage with community and the members, then you can create a profile. But to just purchase tokens or convert tokens, because that's really what you're doing. You would have to send Ethereum or Bitcoin. You know, you would have to have one of your wallets. I'm using MetaMask in this case, already on your Chrome extension. So you click buy. We're going to enter the amount of ETH, that's how much I have. So we're gonna use half of that. Just wanna use 10 bucks. So we'll go to my favorite converter, which is on CoinGecko for Ethereum. There it is. Click on that. We'll go to the USD side and just put in 10, 10 USD. And that's how much ETH it's gonna be. So I'm only going to copy and paste the first eight numbers. Copy that. Go back to Bancor. Let's fill that in. Everything else populated lets you know how many kin tokens you'll receive for that amount of ether. Now, you do have advanced settings, and the advanced settings are for people who want to use or purchase or make a big purchase. And that's in case the price shifts while you're buying. We're going to take a look at the advanced settings real quick. You see, you can set if the price of kin is higher than that. Transaction will fail. The gas, you know, and you can you can switch that, or a percentage change, you know, in case you're gonna buy like twenty thousand dollars worth of kin token, and then it just shifts on you right before you hit the button, and you didn't want to do that, you know, because there's no exchange, there's no way to set orders. So you click buy. What I want to explain is that there's no way to to set a order. You can't order. You can't. There's no buy books, no trade books, no buy, no sell on on Bancor. So it's not like you can say, well, you know, if the price dips, you know, I want to set my buy at this price. You can't do that here. So that's what the advanced settings are for. You know, so in the process of you buying, if the price auto if the price just skyrockets and you didn't want to pay that price, you see, so you would use the advanced settings. So let's proceed. Now, as you can see here, the gas is is just outrageous. We're gonna we're gonna show you I'm gonna show you how much the gas fees are usually higher. But look at how much that gas is set. <laughs> I'm about to show you guys how much Ethereum that is. And this is just an estimation. This isn't actually what you're gonna be charged. But check this out. Well we'll copy it and then we'll go to CoinGecko, paste it. Hit enter. $108 just to purchase $10 worth of Kent token. So I went crazy, had to go to the Bancor Telegram and ask them what happens if I click proceed. Is it still going to try and charge me 100 even though I don't have it? So is it going to fail? You know, I figured, I figured that we would be able to see the box that pops up for MetaMask and adjust the price. But I wanted to make sure. After contacting uh, Banco on Telegram, I was able to realize that we can go ahead and adjust the price. 
So my next question was, how much should the price be for it to go through? What's the least that I can pay that will make it successful? And I won't have to keep spending gas with failed attempts. We're going to go ahead and cut real quick so that you guys can see. Okay, so he answered my question. And here's where I was able to find how the gas prices are working right now. So it's recommended that you use 26, at least 26. This is going to be very vital for, to use not only on Bancor, but as on Ether Delta as well and any other of these decentralized exchanges that work on Ethereum blockchain. It appears that Bancor does work on Ethereum blockchain, or maybe if the coin that you're purchasing is on Ethereum with Bancor. But I know Ken is on Ethereum network. It's an ERC20 token. Ethereum blockchain is slow right now and you have to pay outrageous amounts of gas. And if you don't do it properly, you're going to keep trying and trying and trying and use up money trying to do this right. Again, these are the advanced settings. I'm not going to mess with that. And we're going to click buy. That's, again, just an estimation. And as we showed, uh, 26 GUI, 26 GUI was what was recommended by the ETH gas station. And as we saw that the ones that were 26 work, now here it is. Now, how much is 26 GUE? Let's find out. And you know now that Ethereum is past over $1,000. So all of these transactions, everything's costing a little more. So 26 GUE is $19, which would make my total purchase 28 bucks. I would pay more in gas fees than I would be paying for the actual coins. Because if I wanted to only spend 10 bucks on the coins, I would be spending 20 bucks just for the transaction fee. So I'll pass. I'm not going to purchase any kin tokens as of this moment. But this is how you use it. You would just click buy. But instead, I'm going to reject it. But you would click buy. And after you click buy, you would do everything the same way as on Ether Delta. You know, once you click buy, you wait for it to go on the blockchain. It would give you the uh, transaction ID. It would be in your MetaMask wallet. And I'll show you where you would go here. And you would have something pending here. You see, these are the ones that I rejected last night but it would be pending and you would see three dots just like here and you would click the three dots. You would get the transaction ID and then you can look at it on Ethereum blockchain and then you can get the contract address and then you would go to your tokens and then add tokens just like I showed you guys on the Ether Delta tutorial. If you haven't seen that one, you know, go check it out. I have a table of contents so you can skip right to MetaMask. Then we'll be adding the coins once they're purchased. It's pretty simple platform to use. Seems cool, brand new. They're still adding a lot more tokens. So don't sleep on Bancor, man. If you're not trusting uh, Ether Delta right now and you wanna buy some of these coins and you can't get into Binance, just go to Bancor. You don't even have to sign in. Just sign into your wallet. You can use it with your My Ether wallet. You can definitely use it with your MetaMask wallet. I'm not sure if you can use it with your JAX extension for Chrome and all of that. But for you, any of you that are not familiar with MetaMask or anything, again, go check out using Ether Delta with MetaMask video. And it'll make using this a lot simpler and clear. But again, this is for you, Crypto Badger. Thanks for even suggesting this. I know it took me maybe a week since you asked, so you probably already know how to use Bancor, but I'm doing this anyway for those that don't. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and let's change the world one Bitcoin at a time.